Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I have another journal with me and this one is going to be really quick because this page here was just actually like a random blank spot. I had journaled on the previous, which was my previous journaling with me video. And then I kind of skipped this spread here to do like the next journaling, I guess, chronologically within you know how I'm documenting in this book and I just had this page here it was one side had this green embossed paper and then the other side this beautiful wallpaper and I kind of didn't want to cover any of it up like I would do if I was gonna like document something and so what I've decided to do is create a little collage piece on the green embossed paper and basically leave the wallpaper as is and so I'm using a bunch of different scraps. I have a little bowl on my desk that has a bunch of little scraps of different pieces of paper, like just old ledger paper, book papers, more embossed papers. I added a doily that I had, and yeah, I just kind of glue all those down there. And now I'm kind of looking through like different images to see what I can use there to kind of cover up a little bit of that green embossed paper, because it was just too much there. I end up going with this little image it's from one of Nazi's printables and it's just a little bunny and it looked really cute and I think the quote says she loved the soul of animals and flowers or something like that but it matched really well and I just needed to fill that spot there and so I treat these little journals like collages or spots where I'm not really documenting anything from my day as little pauses within my journal and I actually end up journaling about that on this side so you can see here that I'm looking through different pieces of like scrap grid paper that I have and I'm really just playing around to see which one would fit and look nice there I go back and forth between a couple of them but I end up settling on the longer thinner one and what I do is I distress it a little bit, like distress the edges with my scissors and just glue it in that spot. So I really didn't want to cover up the wallpaper, but at the same time I wanted some something there, like a little journaling spot or something. And so that's what I end up doing with this little piece of paper there and I just kind of glue it down. And this is where I do a little journaling and I just kind of write about how sometimes just like how I have these little pauses in my journal where I just have like a decorative page or decorative pages, life is kind of like that. You have like little lulls, I guess. I don't want to call them lulls, but like little pauses. And even if they're like unexpected pauses or like, pa like times of rest that you didn't really intend on taking, I hope that makes sense. I mean, I was just thinking about how, you know, I'm kind of forced to kind of pause now sort of my routine in terms of my creativity because I'm transitioning you know um, to kind of working full-time and it's been a struggle for me for a person who's never worked full-time like ever I've only ever had part-time jobs or like freelance jobs where I can just work from home like on my own time schedule it's been really difficult to have like a structured full-time job and I know this is only temporary because the job is temporary and like everything in life is temporary it's still kind of you know kind of forced me to pause my, my routine my sort of a creative outlet and so that's kind of what I journaled here and that's sort of what this page signifies is just like that little pause and yeah, I just wanted to have that here in my little summer stories book because I was really hoping to have this filled up with a bunch of fun summer things, but alas, I'm in work all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little journal with me. Thank you so much for watching and like your continued patience with me and like my ongoing ramblings of life. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that I can get into a better flow of just making more of these videos. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye.